we have to see next is update so update method is tricky although delete method is easy but let's see update method so for update what we have to do we will have to so uh, basically if you want to update any data you have to use at the rate put method so we'll use put mapping and then path equal to here i can say update user and and then we have to give here id that means we will tell them on which id we want to update now after that <coughs> we will have the same response we can just copy this one and paste it here so in put map update mapping we will simply return that data is updated now here i can say update user this is request body and then in request body we will get user form as well as we we will also get this particular value and if you want to get value from the path you have to write at the rate path value and then we'll write here a string id after that <clears throat> what we'll have to do since in this particular repository we don't have any method related to update so if i see here we have count delete delete all delete by find all find by id what you can see we don't have any delete method we have only save method that means we have to use save method and in this save method only we have to tweak the user form so how we will do that first what we will do we will find this id we will get the data from the database using this id and then we will update that object and for that we have to use this one so if i will write it user repository dot find by and here we will pass this id then find by will return a user optional user form and if i do dot get then it will return user form so i can say user form and then we can say existing data equal to we have to use user repository dot find by id and then we'll pass this id dot get here we will see existing data now what i'll have to do is we can update the value we can update the existing data using this one so what i'll do existing data dot set name equal to i'll do user dot get name we will get data from front end or maybe from from postman to this object from this object we will get the get name to the existing data and similarly i'll do existing data dot set email id equal to user dot get email id then we have existing data existing data dot set country equal to user dot set country now here we have set all these three values to this one we don't need to set the id since id should be same and we'll pass this existing data to save the voyage i think this will work and then we'll whenever we will say updated user then it should return the updated user data okay so let's try to run it we have here update user let's go and create one endpoint you can say one request did add request change it to let's say i can say update user and here i'll uh, write 
the URL. In this URL, I will say this is update user and then slash and here we have to write the user ID. This should be the port request. Right? We have passed this ID to the URL. After that, we will go into the body, select the raw and here we can pass the body. In body, we have to pass name equal to let's say here i can say so we we'll have to first check what was there so let's say if i'll click fetch or let's say if i want to update the user id 8 currently we have on 8 name equal to abc email id equal to this country equal to Uta. so now i want to update let's say name and email id in that case what i'll have to do i have to pass name equal to let's say i can say rakesh and uh, then email id equal to rakesh at gmail.com and then country equal to I have given all these three values since we have to pass the complete user form object we have given here now if I save it first and then we'll send it so we are getting 404 not found okay maybe we have to restart this so we have added new endpoint we can run this again user API right click run java application so whenever you will get 404 that means particular url or particular page is not available <clears throat> right now let's try to send it we are okay so here it is getting 415 415 is HTTP status code, which means unsupported media type. That means here we have given text. Actually, it should be JSON. So if you will find, if you will send JSON data type and then send it, now you will see 200 response and then we are getting updated as a result. Let's see whether data is updated or not. So I will call this method. Let's click send. Now you can see on it, we have this data. And if I click fetch and click send, now you can see we have these two data updated. This is very easy to work with a spring. We don't need to worry about anything. Just you have to focus on actual business logic that you want to write. We don't need to focus much on SQL query for update, delete and other thing. Already it's written, just you have to use that and then that's it. Okay, next thing is we will see how we can delete the data. So deleting part is easy, just we have to use a delete map. And then we'll have to pass the part and say delete user and then in this one also we can pass the data in the uri and here i'll write public so in delete case we can simply return the string so i can simply copy this one let's just copy the body of this method so here we have response for a string and we can say this thing is delete user request body so we don't need request body right we have we need only path variable id and then we can delete this so we'll use the user repository dot delete by id here you can see we have delete by id you can also delete particular data using user form so if you will pass the data and based on the complete data it will delete 
then we have also method delete all it will delete all the methods and here we have seen we have delete all where we can pass this iterable so if you are passing the form more than one data then it will also delete that particular thing right now we will only use delete by id and here we have just convert this id into integer form and then we'll put it here and after that we can return so it's very simple right we can restart this again Okay, now we have to work with delete. So uh, what I'll do, I'll uh, let's say clone one of the request. Uh, uh, I have okay, yeah. I have cloned it, and now let's rename this. I can say delete user, and here I can say this is delete user slash. Let's say I like eight. I want to delete ID eight. Here we have to select delete delete mapping. If you will not select this, in that case your request will not reach to this method. You have to pass the exact same thing delete mapping. That means you have to send from front end or from postman delete mapping, and it will reach to this. Now I have given here delete mapping, and rest other thing we don't need to give. Just we have to pass here parameter in the URI, click send. Now you can see we are getting 8. That means data is already deleted. If I click fetch all, you can see now only we have one data. So suppose if I write again, in that case we will get internal server error. This data is not available. So we will get 500. To resolve 500, what we have to do, we should call first find by ID and if ID is exist, that means data is exist, then only we should perform delete operation. 